I want to turn you this evening in our Bibles with me to John's Gospel, chapter 10. The Gospel of John, chapter 10. I wonder tonight, have you ever considered? I wonder tonight, have you ever thought upon one word that appears no less than 47 times in the Bible? This word tonight appears twice in the Old Testament, and it appears 45 times in the New. The word tonight, I wonder, have you ever considered is the word eternal? And I wonder tonight, do you know what eternal, eternal really means? Eternal means never ending. It's forever and ever. And, ever. and the human mind tonight can't take that in. You cannot even begin to imagine what that would really be like. Going on forever and ever and ever and ever, no end. That's what eternal means. As I have already said, it appears no less than 47 times in the whole of the Bible. The first time it appears, it appears in Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 27. The eternal God is our refuge. The first time eternal is used, it's used to describe God. The eternal God. That means tonight God always was, always will be. God will always will be because He is the eternal God the Almighty. My dear friend, this evening we need to get this into our heads and we need to get it into our hearts. Someday you and I will take our place and appear before the eternal God of heaven. And there's no getting out of it. There's no running away from it. We will all appear before him someday. The eternal God. But then the word eternal is used in Mark's gospel 3 verse 29, and the Lord Jesus uses the word eternal. And the Lord Jesus here talks about eternal damnation. And I wonder tonight, have you ever considered that? Eternal damnation. Eternal punishment. Eternal torment. Because the Lord Jesus said it's the place where the fire is not quenched and where the worm dieth not. Just for a moment, you consider that. Eternal damnation, eternal punishment going on forever and ever and ever and ever, no ending to it. And my dear unsaved friend tonight, you listen. You're only a breath away from it. Only a breath away from eternal damnation. 
eternal God, yes. Eternal damnation, yes. But then the word eternal is used in a different light again because it's used no less than 26 times, and it's this what the Lord wants to speak about tonight. And that is what the Bible calls and what Jesus calls eternal life. You'll read in John's Gospel, chapter 10, and I want you to look at verse 28 tonight, and this is what it says. The Lord Jesus said, And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. That's my text tonight, and we know the Lord will bless that text to our hearts. And I shall give, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Tell me, my dear friend, this evening, have you got eternal life? Because many people in the kingdom of Morn think they've got eternal life. And there's many in the kingdom of mourning who perhaps believe they've got eternal life. But they don't. And that's the cat that's thrown in among the pigeons tonight. They think they have. Many believe they have. But they don't have. They don't have. Because tonight there's many fooled. Fooled into believing that they have. But they don't have it. Maybe there's somebody tonight and that's you. You think you have. You may believe you have. But God wants you to know tonight you don't have. You know, that text is a unique text when it comes to the gift tonight of eternal life. Do you see eternal life tonight? God wants you to have eternal life. God longs for you to have eternal life. And the question is this evening, have you eternal life? I want you to notice first of all in that text because it's important we let the Bible do all the talking. Sometimes preachers talk too much and they don't let the Bible do the preaching. And I'm going to let the Bible do the preaching tonight because look what the Bible says. And I shall give eternal life. And there that text declares to us tonight the source of eternal life. The source of eternal life. Do you know what the Lord Jesus says? The Lord Jesus says, I give eternal life. Do you know something this evening? There's many people tonight. And they're looking to their church, they're looking to this, they're looking to that, they're looking to the other one. And they think tonight and they believe that through this, through that, and through the other thing, they've got eternal life. Well, they don't. The Lord Jesus says, I give, I shall give unto them eternal life. And I wonder this evening, dear unsaved friend tonight, have you ever considered the gift that God wants to give you tonight? Let me tell you tonight, eternal life's a gift. The wages of sin is death. And my friend, you need to realize that tonight. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God, oh, the gift of God is eternal life. How? Through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
You know, friends, this evening, you see this whole matter of eternal life. It's something you desperately need. And only the Lord Jesus can give you eternal life. D.L. Moody was preaching in Chicago many, many years ago. And he preached on that text of John 5, verse 24, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word and believeth in him that sent me shall have everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. And as he was preaching that sermon, there was a woman sitting on the left-hand side of the pulpit, and her eyes was riveted on the preacher. D.L. Moody couldn't wait to get the service over to speak to this lady, and he asked the lady, tell me, dear, are you a Christian? No, he sa she said, though I'm sorry, but I'm not a Christian, but I would love to be a Christian. D.L. Moody says, do you know what it means to be a Christian? He says, I think so. He says, well, my sermon has enough to tell you what a Christian is. A Christian is someone who believes on nothing, only Christ. She says, you know, I've been trying that. For three years, I've been trying to believe myself. And D.L. Moody couldn't get her to understand. He says, dear, will you just remain quiet for a wee moment and let Jesus do the talking? And there was silence. D.L. Moody quoted this verse. And he says, this is the words of Christ. I shall give unto them eternal life. Is there anything you don't understand about that, dear? No. Do you accept that as the words of the Lord Jesus himself? Yes. Do you accept the fact that he's the only one that can give eternal life? Yes. Do you want eternal life? Yes. Mr. Moody, how do we get it? Get on your knees and cry out to him. And he'll give you eternal life. And that's exactly what you did. You know, friend, you were born into this world of sin. And the greatest need you have tonight is not religion. The greatest need you need this evening is this. You need to come to Christ. You're living tonight. You're sitting in this church tonight. Yes, you're physically alive, but you're spiritually dead. You're dead tonight. The Bible says it in trespasses and in sins. But the Lord Jesus has a good news tonight. I give. I give, shall give unto them eternal life. Listen, dear friend, do you not want eternal life tonight? Do you not want to know the joy of sins forgiven? Do you not want to know what it is to have peace with God? I'm telling you, friend, this evening, eternal life is real. He's the source of eternal life. But I want to tell you, friend, tonight, eternal life is not cheap. Because the Lord Jesus had to go to the old rugged cross at Calvary and there be crucified because your worst enemy is not death. You get that. Your worst enemy is not death. The Bible calls death the last enemy, but it's not the worst enemy. The worst enemy is sin. And you're born in sin, the Bible says, and shaping in iniquity. But tonight you can have your sins forgiven because you need your sins forgiven and you need to come to Christ in repentance. And you need to accept this tonight that he gives eternal life. I shall give eternal life. A life tonight that will go on forever in his presence. That's eternal life to me. Eternal life for me didn't begin, well, it won't begin, won't begin when I die. Eternal life has already begun with me. It begun the night I was saved. It was begun 30 years ago, 30 years in a week. And I can tell you, friend, the moment I die, that's not when eternal life begins. When the moment I die, faith will give way to sight. 
and eternal life will be more precious. I can tell you, friend, eternal life is reigning within this body of mine now and within this soul of mine now. And friend, I can tell you tonight, it's all because I came to Jesus. Eternal life. God wants to give you eternal life, but the, this is what God says, but the eternal life is in my Son. The source of eternal life. I shall give eternal life. Tell me this, dear friend, tonight. Do you want eternal life? You know, this life is eternal. This life doesn't last to the grave. This life really kicks in at the grave. This is real. Eternal life is real. And tonight, dear unsafe friend, you can have eternal life. But you must turn from your sin and you must turn to the Savior because listen to him. You forget about me tonight. You listen to him. I shall give eternal life. That's the source of eternal life. But that text also declares the security of eternal life. I shall give unto them eternal life. What's the next wee bit? And they shall never perish. Friend, that's the security that comes with eternal life. Do you know what that means this evening? For to every person that I give eternal life for, they'll never perish in hell. They'll never be lost. They'll never perish. My friend, tonight, it's not our religion you need. It's eternal life you need. And for those of us that are sitting in this meeting saved tonight, you remember this. God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. But the lovely thought with that text is that should not perish, shall never perish. Because dear unsafe friend, you need to get it tonight what it means to perish. To perish means to die without the Savior. To perish means to die without life. To perish means to die without the hope. That's what it means to perish and to be lost in hell forever. I say it's a lovely text, isn't it? I shall give unto them Let's stop there for a wee moment. Who are them? Them are those who seek it. Them are those who know they need it. Those are the, them are those who come by faith and say, Lord, save me. Do you know you need it? Will you not come tonight as a sinner to Jesus and say, Lord, save me? Because them's the people the Lord Jesus gives eternal life to. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Eternal life means shall never perish. W.P. Nicholson told the story of a, a young man who was shot badly during the American Civil War and his comrades left him on the field to die. It was early morning when he was shot, but he didn't die till that evening. But as he lay in the battlefield, God spoke to him. As he looked forward, all he could see was eternity. All he could see was the great gulf gaping ready to swallow him up. And then a voice came. It was the voice of his mother. His mother wasn't there, of course, but the voice of his mother came 
in his memory as at the time when she had him on her knee, teaching them the wonderful truths of God. As he lay in that battlefield, he began to think of the verse that his mother taught him as a wee one on her knee. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth on him should, should not perish but have everlasting life. The Padre who came and found him. Was told by this young man the story. Do you know how he died? He died singing his mother's favorite hymn. Safe in the arms of Jesus. Safe on his gentle breast. Safe safe forevermore. There, by his love o'ershaded, sweetly my soul shall rest. That's what it is to have eternal life tonight. Christ went to the cross to pay the price. He rose again from the dead. And the Lord Jesus tonight can give you the gift of eternal life. If you have it. If you'll have it. I shall give unto them eternal life. Will you have it tonight? Will you take it tonight? Will you receive this gift tonight? Because you need to trust Christ. You need to repent of your sin, dear. And trust the Savior. Whom to know is to know life eternal. And may God, by his grace, draw you to Christ tonight, who alone can give you life eternal. Let's pray. Lord, tonight, Eternity has been brought before us. But most of all, Christ has been brought before us. And we pray, Lord, tonight for those who are still on the road that leads to destruction, who are still on the perishing path. Lord, give the saving grace that they too may have eternal life. That's through our Savior's name we pray. Answer prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 173.